the red boots and the blue trunks, Adam Fogarty, who's joined the Terry Lawless camp this summer and has had six pro fights in Britain so far and won five of them. His opponent here tonight is from America, Tim Morrison. Wrongly billed and wrongly announced is out of Miami. In fact, he comes from Jay, Oklahoma. Has nothing whatever to do with Miami. He's 25, he's five years older than Fogarty, and he certainly has a lot more experience. And I wonder whether the Fogarty camp uh, know about this, because uh, Morrison, over the years, has taken part in what they call in America tough man bouts. Now, these are semi-professional contests in which you take on all comers. And he claims to have had 51 contests. <laughs> A lot of them obviously don't mean too much, but you never know. Morrison from the States with that right knee bandaged. Fogarty has been a pro now since 1987. He's had six fights in this country. He's also fought in Australia, that was last year, and he won three contests there. He's the son of a former rugby league international called Terry Fogarty. Played for Great Britain at rugby league. And Fogarty himself has dabbled in the game. He's the second row forward. He weighs 16 stone for this contest, Fogarty. And uh, Morrison came in at 53 and a half. So the British boy's got all the advantages, height and reach and weight. But the one thing he doesn't have on Morrison is experience. <laughs> Morrison already looking a bit puffed around the left eye. In fact, one or two thumping right hands. wins in this country. Fogarty has stopped his man three times. <laughs> End of first round with uh, Fogarty well on top. After those first three minutes of schedule for eight rounds. Terry Lawless facing him in the corner there and he joined the Lawless camp only this summer, but could be a very useful young prospect. Second round, round two. Fogarty from the right, towering over the referee, Larry O'Connell. And strapping on the right leg of the American it's interesting. I don't know quite what it's doing for him, but he doesn't appear to be too mobile. <laughs> Certainly a big lad, Fogarty. It's the first time I've seen him. It's interesting to see a big fella like this and see how he uses his punch and his weight. And he has there. Uh, he slung that right hand and. Uh, Morrison, the American, went down on that dodgy knee. So that answered the question I was asking. He does seem to put his weight behind the right hand. And after that little performance, I wouldn't think it'll be too long before he stops this American. I don't think Morrison, for all his many tough man bouts as they call him in the states he hasn't got the class to offer here and he's down again and that'll be enough he didn't actually touch down he only squatted but larry o'connor who's an experienced wise referee and a former boxer of course had seen enough quite rightly and so well within the halfway distance of the second round adam fogarty has won again and uh, well it all started with the first knockdown when he 
put a left in and then brought a looping right hand over the top and sent uh, Morrison down on one knee. He didn't take a long count, but the writing was on the wall at that point. And when Fogarty backed Morrison up in his own corner and began to unleash punches, Morrison went in a sort of squatting position and uh, the referee called it all off rightly enough in the second round. Well, he looks quite a useful prospect, Adam Fogarty from Halifax these days. Right, a spot more.